Hey guys, this is Cece from the Toys Production Studio, and I'm here to do a DIY channel. So I'm going to show you guys how from turning from this into this. Yeah, so the other day I was making, um, deciding to do a All My Color Shoes for my Hero Academia. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that exactly. First, what you're going to be needing is fabric paint, brush, pencil, and eraser, just in case with you guys. So what I did here is that I pretty much outlined how I wanted to design the shoes and I wrote down on what colors I'm going to be doing. Now, it may not turn out perfect, but that's okay. You guys can go over, draw how you want it, where you want it. And make sure you know exactly what color you're going to do. So, for the All Might shoes, I made some little mistake here. But I think that's okay. Because you can always go over the paint on where you want it. So, like, from here, I have made sure you got to be, like, really careful on where you want it at. Like I said, it's best to write down what colors you want in order to make the shoes however you want it. So, I'm going to be... I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own city. Okay guys, so first off, you need a brush about... This type of brush, add water, make sure it's nice and moist, make sure you also have a cloth with you with everything. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use the fabric pink red so that I can start off here. So let's get to it. Now you got to be really careful how you want this. Try not to leave too much water on your brush because all that paint can Hey guys, so once you're done finished painting everything red, and if you make a few mistakes like this one, this is why I said don't add water too much on your brush because the red paint can spread all over, but it's okay if you made a mistake. I can teach you guys how to um, fix that. So as I did here um, on my layout, I painted everything red where I want it to be. So now I'm going to teach you um, to do the blue because the blue is going to be basically all over like here how the blue is all over I basically did the red first and I let it dry for a few 30 uh, hours or so but uh, from there that's where you can start doing the blue so Okay guys, so once the red is all dry, that's when we can start adding the blue. So, get your paint and start adding the blue. So, like I said, you want to add the blue where you want it, how you want it. So, I'm going to start off from this side where I want the blue. And, and if you can't work like that, that's okay. I put blue paint on where I want 
so that, that way I can go over it on my own to know where is it I want it. So I've marked everything with blue paint so that way I can start working on it. Hey guys! Okay, so basically I did the blue all over. Okay. Pack everything. So like I said, like we did with the red, we're gonna let it dry. I mean like I said, if you guys made a few mistakes, don't worry about it. Don't stress out because once it's dried out we're gonna go over it. Okay? So let's let it dry and then I'm gonna help you guys do the yellow. Now once the blue and the rest of the shoe is dry, we're gonna start working with the yellow. Grab the yellow and this is what we're gonna do with that. So don't really stress too much guys because basically we're gonna go over it and paint it and, and you can but once it's all dry. Um, to make it dry, I think you would get better, much better results if you let it dry underneath the sun. You know, you want you want that paint to stay on your shoes. So as soon as I put the yellow on, don't stress out. Like I said, if you guys make a few mistakes, I can teach you. And it's really easy it's it was fun making the all my shoes I, I really liked it the idea just came to me as soon as I saw the um, the the trailer of season 5 of One Piece can't wait I haven't really got much the chance to choose or to watch the second movie of My Hero Academia I heard it's really good so but no spoilers. So once you did that, see, add the yellow, and you're gonna do the same thing here. And what I did on these shoes, I add the yellow right here. I wanted to get a deep shoe details, so I grab this type of paintbrush, the smallest brush that you can, and just like usually grab the yellow paint and you know smother it a little bit right here as much as you can and what I did right here on the white ones I wait for the entire shoes to dry because I want to get that light that white in there so once it was dry I end up using this brush sorry it's a little wet this brush and I end up using the side of it on the tip of the brush so that way I can get a good line but um like I said once it's all dry then we can go over it and the same thing with the shoes if you messed up a little bit it's like I said it's okay you can go over them once it's dry so that's basically it on how you can make all my shoes go beyond plus ultra Ah, I've always wanted to do that. It's, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you so much on my first DIY. Bye!